Ah, see? The boat washed ashore. Someone did call a serpent earlier. Get in. I will pull. You are quiet. Are you not better? I guess. I know you overheard my talk with Freya. You think you understand, but you do not. Why do you say nothing? You said I was cursed. You think I'm weak because I'm not like you. I know I was never what you wanted. But after all this, I thought maybe things were different. You do not know everything, boy. No. But at least I know the truth now. The truth? The truth. I am a god, boy. From another land far from here. When I came to these shores, I chose to live as a man. But the truth is, I was born a god, and so were you. Boy, have you nothing to say? Um, can I turn into an animal? Can you turn into an animal? No, I do not think so. Oh my god. Mother now? She was a god too? No. She was mortal, but she knew my true nature. I'm a god. Why did you wait so long to tell me? Time of anguish and tragedy. That is the curse. What sorts of things can I do? Can I fly? Or turn invisible? I don't feel like God. I do not know the reach of your godhood. But over time, you will learn. I can't turn into a wolf. You are welcome to surprise me. Is this why I hear voices sometimes? Are you sure you've never heard any? Not as you do. That's no surprise. Every god is unique. So maybe I won't get strong like father, but I'll have abilities all my own? You already do, laddie. Your faculty for language is extraordinary for one so young. Time alone will tell what else you'll become capable of. So you knew all along? I did, lad. But I've known more than my share of gods. Me too, apparently. I wonder who else knew I was a god. Freya, for sure. Rock and Sindri? They do not need to know. Boulder! Does he know? Is that why he's after us? Do you know him from before? The day of your mother's funeral was the first I ever saw Balder. That is the truth. Hey, we don't have to go right back to Cares Vault. Will we? I mean, we're God. We can do whatever we want, right? What do you really feel like doing? Right now? I will show you. Another shipwreck under the water. I see something down there.
We can beach them out here.
treasures from all different realms. Do you think that Fafnir went to Alfheim too? I do not know. Aren't you curious? He sounds interesting. We go to the storeroom to collect anything useful for our journey. Not to learn more about the dwarf. Fafnir was a rather interesting fellow, little brother. Perhaps I'll tell you a story one day. Have you made it out of Fafnir's storeroom yet? Um, I know it's not my business, but if I were you, I'd wash off that symbol painted on your neck. We were told it would help protect us. Was that a lie? Oh, no, it's a protection stave, all right, but you can't render that pigment into paintable texture without blending it with boar urine. And is that really better than death? Maybe a little. Well, well it's your neck. <laughs> So what brings you around, friends? Oh, we can't forget you. What did we miss? to make excuses to say hello. Must have gotten here first. doesn't fall far.
Locked. Find another entrance. Here. Boy. Yes, sir. Another map. Bet we'll find something useful here. It looks like the Reavers made it inside. I hope they didn't take all the treasure. treasure and know what stuff keep your expectations low boy and you will never be disappointed you off guard. I wasn't expecting them. Exactly. Resources, the main reason we are here, boy. However, many of these chests have been emptied. Probably by the Reavers. I hope they didn't take Sudi's whetstone. I have a good feeling about this place. Maybe we'll even find the whetstone. Remember what I told you about expectations, boy. Keep them low. I remember. So, good feeling. Oh! 
ready for them this time. I saw. So I should keep my expectations low, but always expect an attack? It is a delicate balance. Expect the worst, assume nothing, and always anticipate an attack. Sure is a lot to remember. shouldn't hope, but do you think we'll find it there? No. Back to piss on my corpse, you ungrateful little... Uh, who are you two? We're looking for a whetstone. Have you seen it? Aye, there was one in this room. My son sharpened his dagger on it, right before stabbing me in the back. What? Little bastard thought it was his turn to lead my crew. I was hard on him, sure. Hmm. Guess I shouldn't be surprised. I did the same thing to my dad when I was his age. He killed his own father? Where is he now? <laughs> he may be a bastard, but he's my bastard. You'll get no help from me, fool. Then his dagger will help. Hey! That's mine! Hey! Come, boy. We are leaving.
For a pair of pasty fifos, you sure can't fight. I'll give you that. son betray him like that? Kill his own father? Over some treasure? It seems so greedy. Remember what I told you, boy. I see nothing. Well, sure. He didn't seem like a great father, but... You only know half the story. Yes. It is over. You, uh, didn't happen to find that whetstone, per We found no whetstone. This dagger belongs to the reaver who took it. They took most of the good stuff. Oh? Well, here, take this. In exchange for the dagger. The dagger you brought me is quite interesting. An artless design, but the construction is sound. Where in the temple did you find this? In a river's back. Oh. Oh. He mentioned he was part of a larger clan. Maybe they took the whetstone? Quite possibly. I know I've seen this design before. I have a favor to ask. Just a small favor, really. Do you remember the dagger you gave me? The dagger stabbed into the river's back? His own son killed him? Yeah. I haven't forgotten that one. Well. I traced it to a group of reavers that operate out of the Northry stronghold. I'd wager that's where they took their haul from Fafnir's storeroom. Along with that whetstone that I could use to help you. <sighs> Ugh. 
Another treasure hunt? Pointless. Well, not if Sindri really can make us better equipment with that whetstone. Plus, the Reaver's son. He murdered his father. Atreus, here. down there. Okay, I know I saw something. I saw it too. Freya did say the Jotunheim realm tower was missing from the lake, but maybe only kind of? Very strange indeed. Let's try this again, without interruptions. Here we go again. Read it. Death itself I swallow, to spring forth life tomorrow. Oh, I like that one. I wonder if I wrote it. Is that the answer there? It says Earth. Hmm, swallows death, brings forth life. Yeah. I wish I'd known I was a god in Alphon. I wouldn't have felt so bad about killing so many elves. Well, I'm not sure that's the lesson. You've done nothing to regret. The elves forced their affairs upon us. No, I get it now. We had god things to do, and they were in the way, dragging us into their little problems. Again, are we just leaving that there? I mean... Just knowing we're gods makes me feel so much strong. Maybe you feel a little too good right now. With power comes a big choice, lad. You can either serve yourself or put your godhood in the service of others, like Tyr did. People really loved him, huh? Aye. A god of war, but one who fought for peace. Had a reputation for being heroic and lawful, using his power and knowledge to stop wars rather than start them. So there are good gods. Once in a moon, it's been known to happen, yes? This one mentions places I've never heard of. Seems Tyr really liked to travel. Tyr believed the mind, not might, was key to preventing war and chaos. And he also knew visiting other cultures would give him perspective staying in one place could not. While Odin always hoarded knowledge, guarding it jealously. Tyr was open and sharing with his learning and his wisdom. For this, mortals adored Tyr, showing their love by bringing him gifts the world over. So, whatever happened to Tyr? Odin came to regard him as a threat to his rule, 
He suspected Tyr of collaborating to aid the Giants instead of helping to steal their secrets for the Aesir. Same thing he accused me of, frankly. Though in Tyr's case, I believe he was right. You think Tyr was helping the Giants? I do. He felt responsible for the suffering visited upon them by Odin. I suspect he had something to do with helping them cover their tracks. The missing Jonar down. Correct. Whatever happened to it, I believe it could only have been done with Tyr and the Giants working together. 